What's up everybody, it's uh, Joe the Collector and I got another video for you guys. It's been a minute since I made a video and I uh, got my, you know, my peeps and my subscribers, they've been uh, asking me, you know, when am I going to make another video? And uh, so I figured I got a couple, you know, uh, mail calls in the mail. Um, so I figured I'd make a video for you guys and show you some new books. There's a lot of stuff that I've been picking up and I just honestly haven't had time to post it and, uh, you know, make a, a YouTube video. So I figured today I show you guys like some of the books that I got that I recently picked up and I've been wanting to show you guys. So uh, first I want to go ahead and uh, do this unboxing. Got a couple new books here um, that I picked up and also, big shout out to my home homeboy Harry. He, uh, you know, sent me this care package in the mail. I really appreciate that, brother. You know, hooked me up with some cool ass books. So it's a surprise for me, just the same way it's a surprise for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, and we'll go ahead and see what's inside of here. See what my boy Harry sent me. Let's check him out. Harry knows that I'm a big X-23 fan, X-Men fan, and uh, I love Spider-Gwen. So, uh, we'll go ahead and see what Harry put in this package. Pretty thick package. Nice. That's awesome. Check this out, guys. This is one of those lenticular covers. These were hot. I actually seen these at my LCS recently. Check that out. It's the Fantastic Four. It's the Fantastic Four. I want to see. It's 25. Fantastic Four 25. And it's the Thing versus the Hulk. But when you change it, it's got X-23 going up against Dakin. I don't know if you guys can see that. Good. And it's Wolverine. Oh, it's Wolverine 25 and Fantastic Four 112. And check that out. That's pretty sick. I like this. It's pretty awesome. Thanks, Harry. I appreciate that, bro. What else did he send you? Oh, shoot. Check this out. This is the first appearance of Spider Gwen. And it is first appearance Friday, so that's pretty sick. It's uh, first appearance of Spider Gwen as Venom. Spider Venom. What do you call it? Uh, Gwenom. Gwenum, that's her first appearance of Gwenum. Check that out. That's sick, man. This book was like actually very, I don't know if it's still hot, but it was very hot a couple weeks ago, like about a month ago. Everybody was picking it up. I seen Facebook was going crazy for that book right there. I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, put that in my Spider Gwen collection. That's mad love, Harry. Appreciate that. That's sick. Another book is this Venomized Villains. It was going crazy with the Venomized covers. And uh, check this one out. This is Spider-Gwen number 24, the variant. And it's Venomized. Check that out. It says Venomized Villains. That's pretty sick, man. I like it, Harry. That's awesome. I'll put those in my, my Spider-Gwen collection. Another mail call book that I picked up. I recently just became interested in X-Men again, and why wouldn't I? I'm the biggest X-Men fan, so I picked up another X-Men comic book. This is a first appearance, and it is first appearance Friday, so I got a lot of first appearances I'm going to show you guys, and people really don't know about this comic yet, and so what's my job is as a collector to pick up books that could have a lot of potential and that you guys don't know about yet. So. Here goes this comic that I think is very sick and people don't really know about yet, like I was saying. So, this is X Factor number one, Layla Miller. And what makes this comic book special, it's the first appearance of Cyclops and Emma Frost, their daughter. And uh, I can't remember her name. And it's crazy because I bought this about a month ago and I never opened it. It's just been sitting in the package. Um, I, I've been so busy, I haven't had time. But she's sick. She's, she's like red. 
she's all red. And I want to say her name is... Man, I can't remember her name, but if you guys know her name, go ahead and shoot me a comment. And uh, I'll check you guys' comments out after the video. Or the next day, I'll get back with you guys when I have time. But check that out. This is X Factor number one, Layla Miller. Check that out. And it's Cyclops and Emma Frost, their daughter that they have. And she's got some sick ass powers, man. I was checking her out. So another thing I've been up to, I've been reading a lot, been catching up on a lot of my reading, and uh, so I went ahead and I picked up some more trades when I went, and big shout out to Cordelia Murphy and my boy John Murphy, uh, congratulations guys, they, they he recently proposed to her, and uh, I'm very happy for you guys, and if you guys are watching this, mad love, and I had fun in Chicago. And so some of the stuff I picked up in Chicago, as I, I got a couple first parents books, not too much. Um, mostly went over there, had f a lot of fun, visited my family, friends. And uh, so recently I, I actually, I read this, I've been reading this book and I kind of been reading it little by little just because it's such an awesome uh, story. And if you're a Warlock fan, I highly recommend that you give this book a read. This is Warlock, The Complete Collection. Uh, by Jim Starlin and so the last story I only had a little bit I was reading it little by little trying to just save it you know and uh, so I recently finished this and it was super good and I'm excited and happy like I said anybody who's a Warlock fan read that very very cool stuff in there um, so now that I'm done with that trade I'm kind of debating which one I'm gonna start reading next and these books I picked up in Chicago at the Chicago Comic Con um, and the books that I picked up was Namor. This is the John Byrne stuff. Visionaries, John Byrne. His run on Namor. And I heard this is actually really sick. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm either going to give this one a read because I'm a huge Namor fan. This one I already started reading because I got the collection of comics. Um, this is the trade and it's the complete collection. This is a sick ass storyline. Fear itself. Um, these are... And I actually, I watched Thor. Thor was sick. That's one of the sickest Marvel movies out right now. If you haven't seen Thor, go check it out. It's freaking nonsense. That's such a fun movie. It's funny. It's got action in it. Led Zeppelin just is sick. If you love Thor, you love Led Zeppelin, you love action, Loki, Hela. It's awesome. Go check it out. I really enjoyed that flick. And I really thought they was going to do something with the Fear Itself storyline being in that. But they didn't. Um, instead, it was uh, its own. It has nothing to do with like the comics. So it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. I just want you to know that it has nothing to do with Fear Itself. <laughs> if that's a spoiler, then sorry. But um, this storyline right here is sick. If you haven't read this one... It's about the hammer wielders, and they, they all got hammers, and each one that picks one up, they get these superpowers, like they're mad OP, and uh, I haven't read too much into it, I only read the introduction to each character, but it's Juggernaut, it's, uh, I want to say, Lady, I can't remember, uh, it's Red Skull's daughter, it's a couple people, they get their freaking, um, the hammers, and they're just mad OP, and here you see Thori's all messed up on the ground. Itself. So I'm either going to read this one or the John Byrne run on Namor. Those are coming up next. And I'll let you guys know what I ended up reading on my next videos. Um, now I want to get into some comics that I picked up recently. Some hot stuff in here. Here goes some hot comics that I recently picked up. First one I want to show you guys is The Witches. I, find, I got another copy of this just because I love this cover. And uh, this is Snyder and Jock. And uh, I heard this is an awesome story. I actually want to read this one day because I'm starting to get into horror stuff. Um, I'm loving the horror stuff that's going on. We just had Halloween. And uh, I'm reading a book by Joe Hill, which is Stephen King's son. And it's very good. It's called Heart Shaped Box. If you, if you get a chance and you like reading like I do, pick that up. Sick. And this is The Witches. It's supposed to be a movie by Brad Pitt. And then 
they said it was supposed to be a movie a long time ago, but they haven't made it yet, so I'm wondering what's going on with that. Another book that I have is Secret War. This is the second book, book two of five. This is the first, it's a Wolverine cover, epic cover. I think this is a Del Otto cover, as a matter of fact. That's what makes it so sick as well, Wolverine Del Otto cover. And it's also the first appearance of Quake, which is an Inhuman, and she's in the show The Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and she's Sky, I believe. Um, but sick book, first appearance comic right here. Also, this is the first appearance of the Rooks, I believe, the Rooks family. So another first appearance comic right here in The Witches. One of my favorite Spider-Gwen covers, since we're covering Spider-Gwen in this one, and Spider-Man stuff, and Venom, is this cover right here, which is the Comics Exposure Spider-Gwen number 5. This is one of my favorite covers of Spider-Gwen. I love this book right here. And I do apologize for the glare. Check this one out. That's awesome right there. She's in her room. You get to see what she looks like. This is sick. She got her her phone out right here. You can see her little phone charging. That's a sick color right there. I love it. Here goes another Venomized cover. This is, the, this is also, I want to say, this is the first time I've seen Gwenum. Guardians of Nowhere, number one variant. And uh, I love this cover right here. First appearance of Gwenum. Check that out. Pretty sick. Nice. I like that one. And they they came out with a bunch of Venomized covers. And this is one of the Venomized covers that they came out with. This is Thanos number five. Venomized. Thanos Venomized. Check that out. Try to tilt the camera a little bit this way so you don't get as much glare so you guys could check the comics out venom venomized another venomized cover i picked up is inhumans prime venomized number one variant let me know what you guys think about the inhuman show as well i liked it i went and seen it in imax but a lot of people don't think it's as good as it, as it could have been i'm um, getting a lot of bad reviews the the uh, Inhumans. I think it's sick. But the sickest show out right now, I believe, is The Gifted. And I need to catch up on that. The Gifted, that's a really good show. Um, Secret Wars number 7. Comic Exposure. This is a Del Otto cover too. This one's sick because it's got Venom, Carnage. Venom, Carnage. And uh, the other symbiote. I can't remember the other symbiote's name. But check that cover out. That's pretty sick. This is Secret Wars number 7 Comic Exposure Variant. Well, let's go over here. We won't get as much glare. I think anywhere you go, you're going to get the glare. Because it's reflecting off of my TV. So, if you go over here, though, you get to see Namor. Alright, so you got Namor right there. Comic Exposure Secret Wars over here. We'll go back into the comics. So, I want to give a big shout out to my boys, PS4 fam. I'm back on PS4. Pianki, Red Rum, uh, Maddie, Gameflow, Killer Pete, the whole PS4 fam. Uh, I'm happy I'm back on PS4. I fixed my PlayStation 4 and I uh, missed you guys. And big shout out to my boy, Red Rum. He's always putting me up on the sick comics. Check this sick comic out, Red, that I picked up. First appearance of your boy, Miles Morales. Hot. Ultimate Fallout. Ultimate Fallout number four. Ultimate Fallout number four, Red. Civil War, The Amazing Spider-Man 529. Look at this one. First appearance of the Iron Spidey suit. Check that out, Red. That's sick right there. First appearance of this. And that I believe is gonna be what is gonna is gonna be the his suit in 
the Avengers Infinity War. I'm so excited and I can't wait for Avengers Infinity War to come out. That's going to be sick. Part one. This is my prediction. I believe everybody's going to die in Infinity War. And the only one that they're going to leave alive is possibly uh, uh, possibly Spider-Man and probably uh, Doctor Strange and also... Um, and also Iron Man. I believe Iron Man, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, a couple of Celestials are going to stay alive. They got to give way to Warlock. They got to give way to Warlock. He's got to come. He's the only one that can face Thanos. The, the Avengers can't face. The, the Earth's mightiest heroes, they can't face them by themselves. They need the power. They need the power of Warlock. He's the only one who can, uh, you know, he's the God Slayer. You know, he's like a messiah uh, in comics. And um, he's the only one that can defeat the evil that's in then Thanos, you know, he's got the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, another comic that I recently picked up, actually I never picked this one up like a long time ago, but I just love this cover and I want to show you guys. I'm not sure if I showed it in a previous video and I'm going to show it now. Vengeance number one, sick cover. This is one of my favorite, I know I always say it's my favorite, but it is my favorite Magneto cover. And this is Del Otto art. Look how beautiful that is. That's the first appearance of America Sanchez first appearance comic this is also the first appearance of the Iron Spidey suit if ain't nobody know that that's the first print the second print is it's pretty sick the second print but you want first print and the reason why you know this is first print because the second print says right up here second print on it so you'll know right away it's the second print it's not worth as much but it's still worth like 20 or 30 bucks I think this one's up there now like Probably like 60 bucks if I'm not mistaken. Another comic that I recently picked up. And I'm super excited and happy to finally have this book. It's one of those books that I've always seen. And I kind of always wanted. And uh, now I'm just I'm happy and content that I finally got it in my collection. Um, because he's maybe he doesn't make an appearance. Maybe he does. You never know. But he's a sick character to me. And every time I see it as a collector. I've always wanted it. And I'm just I've seen it for a good deal beautiful copy you know it's mint it's like a 9694 and I just I had to have it this is the first appearance of the taskmaster taskmaster in Avengers number 196 first appearance of your boy the taskmaster that's sick because it says anything the Avengers can do I can do it better he's looking for men who like to kill check that out that's sick man First appearance of the Taskmaster Avengers book. This is a comic that I recently found. I ran into it and I've been kind of like, I seen it online. I looked it up when I first heard about it and I first seen it. I absolutely love this cover. There's nothing special about it, but it is kind of a low print run and it is kind of rare. Um, re the reason why I love this comic so much is because of the wolves on it with Wolverine and it's just sick. And my buddy told me about it, and I, I've been waiting for it to pop up in my LCS. And now that it finally popped up in my LCS, I picked it up, and I'm excited and happy to have this as part of my my X23 collection. This is X23 number 21. This is actually the last comic in this uh, storyline. X23 number 21, last issue in the storyline. And it's sick because you got the wolves in there. You can see the wolves. X23 Lara. And she's pissed off. Like, she's mad that somebody killed these wolves. And she's got her claws retracted. And I don't know the story. But I did read X-23, the complete collection. Um, but it, it goes on. It keeps going on. Uh, you know, you got X-23 when she teamed up with Jubilee. She became a vampire. She got bit. And she keeps going on. Um, and I actually, I, one day I want to read. I want to just get, get the comics. Because I don't think they have a trade where it goes. They might, but um, I want to just read the comics. Just keep going on X-23 because I love her so much. She's, she is my favorite female superhero, um, and she's awesome. I think they did a terrible job with Logan, the movie. Um, I, I think I'm going to get a lot of people who are going to comment and disagree with me, but um, I'm happy that Marvel Entertainment and, and Fox and Disney, are they're, they're, they're trying to get a deal together. And if that happens... That means that we're, they're going to get the X-Men and they're going to get the Fantastic Four back. And nobody can do that a better job than the people who created them, which is Stan Lee 
you know, um, Joe Quesada, Craig Kyle, all these great minds at Marvel Entertainment. And Kevin Feige, he's doing a great job with the movies. They, the Fox movies don't compare to the Marvel movies, how big of a scale they are. I mean, Logan was cool, but it wasn't great. Um, you know, rated R, I could care less about a rated R movie um, because it's, it's about... The, the special effects, the graphics, the, you know, how close and comic accurate are they? And, you know, bouncing around different timelines. This is what the X-Men movies have been doing. And they make no sense. The Logan movie was trash to me. Uh, X-23's origin story was destroyed. Uh, Wolverine's, his, his story, his X-Factor story um, was destroyed. Uh, what else? His, um... You know, his origin story was destroyed to me. Old Man Logan. Three great stories. Old Man Logan, X-23, and just... What was the other story they jacked up? Oh, Death of Wolverine. It was stupid. They destroyed three great storylines in one movie. I mean, I don't know, but... Spoiler alert, Wolverine dies by a tree bark. It was stupid. Um, Inhumans number one variant. This is a sick comic, and it's it's hard because this is one of the ones that are kind of hard to get because this is a Dynamic Forces uh, variant, an exclusive. They only made so many of these. Uh, I put a backer board on it, and I put it inside a Mylar, but on the back here, when you remove the backer board, it's got a sticker on it. It says Dynamic Forces, and it comes with, uh, with the Certificate of Authenticity, and that's just a sick cover right here. I love it. I love this storyline. It's great. That's a really good story. If you haven't read it yet, read it. That's a good one. Then Humans Run by Marvel Knights is uh, Jay Lee. Check that out. That's sick. All right, so we're going to our last comic of, of this video. And uh, I just thought it was a sick cover because it's uh, Jim Lee. Jim Lee came out a couple, like, sometime, a couple months ago. He came out with a bunch of uh, sick covers that were spread out into different comic storylines. And uh, they were the cards that he made, the Jim Lee cards, and he put them on the comics, and they're sick. Um, and one I picked up was Captain America, Steve Rogers, number 19 variant, and it's Jim Lee, the card, and it's Gambit. It's pretty sick, man. I picked that one up. That's one of my last comics in my, my video. Excited and happy I made you guys a video. My next video is going to be even more epic because I'm going to show you guys my whole run of Submariner comics. Vintage. You're going back to the to the 60s. Submariner. Fantastic Four number four. First appearance. You're going back to uh, Amazing uh, amaz uh, Avengers Annual number one. First appearance of... Uh, of What's her name? Uh, Submariner's girlfriend. Um, I can't remember her name. The blue girl. Uh, first appearance. Uh, Krang. You know, and first appearance. Uh, it's a it's an old book. And I can't remember. I have a brain fart. Um, so there you have it. What's her name? First appearance of Lady. Damn, I can't really remember her. But. So I've been taking a break from the comics for a while, but I'm, I'm, I've actually been picking up little by little comics here and there. And uh, when I sell a couple more comics and a couple more collectibles, I'm gonna pick up a couple little keys that I've been keeping my eyes on. And um, maybe it's a big one I might pick up in a couple months. Yeah, we'll see how things go and how my money looks. And I'm um, heading to Chicago next year for C2E2 to pick up something nice. And also, um, I, I got a custom Sentry statue that I'm going to be picking up sometime in April. Epic. Wait till you guys see that unboxing. You guys are going to love that one. So, um, as always, Joe the Collector, subscribe to my channel, like, share, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Joe Tikash 1, I'm out.